What is going on? So for the first time in a long time, we have an empty, an empty bench. That's amazing. I've been working on a few projects for other people, sorting out some crappy old bikes, got rid of all them. Now we have an empty bench. It is time to go down to the stash and drag out a winter toy. Let's go play. Let's go play. Oh, that's tall. Da da. A dual sport Suzuki DR125. Here's what happened then. Uh, so I got this real good friend. We'll call him Steve because that's his name. He phones me up. He says, Danny, I need you to help me clear my garden. In my garden, I have this bike. It's been sat there, it's seized, blah, 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 blah. So I said, Steve, I will take the bike. I will try to get said bike running. And I will ride it back to you, Steve. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, what can I tell you about it? Apart from we have a key. Ooh, this one has a V5. Um, we've got two big boxes of stuff that come with it. We'll get into that in a bit. Things and stuff. A, a dep pipe. Is that good? Is that good? I don't know. Maybe it's wonderful. Anyway, we have all these things. We're going to try and make that run so we can get rid of it because I don't know if you've noticed, but some idiot bought a Honda Goldwing and um, he's got nowhere to put it while he's working on bikes because the, the project shed is full. So. Let's have a little look through the box of stuff we got with this boy. I've just kind of spread it all over the floor. So, we have a battery tray with fuses and flasher relay, is that? It's not too bad. Uh, then so, yeah, got one of them. Take it the same to the ignition, I think. Who knows? What else we got? Controller, kill switch. Oh, he told me there was a brand new CDI for this. I'm assuming there's, that's the brand new one because I think that's the original one. So we've got two, did I say CDIs? Reg Regs, fuck's sake. Brand new Reg Reg, old Reg Reg. Engine case, nice. Bit of wire, bit of plastic. Oh. The whole loom seems to have been taken off, so that would be fun. Chain guard. I'll take it, that's like belly pan. So another bit of wire. Ignition coil. Looks like a new carb. Oh, that's new, isn't it? That's never been used. With fuel filter. New carb, lovely. And indicator. And oil filter. Engine brackets. Air filter. And bit of plastic. Hole, some hose clamps. Char grilled chicken protein pot. A bit of plastic, maybe somewhere under the back of the bike. And an airbox. No, we're going. And a bit of rubber. Looks like a bit of inner tube that's been cut up. And an exhaust pipe. Ooh. So, oh. And the number plate and an open gasket set so yeah right as you'll see my uh, my phone went flat and I got a bit impatient so I started cleaning it up to see what it's going to come up like and it's definitely blue well that stopped being a bike pretty quick um, I'm kind of trying to figure out where this wiring loom goes 
So I started at the front here because I found a yellow and a blue plug and I just thought, hell, you know what? I'll just try and see what I can get connected. Um, and I'm just trying to figure it out through. I've used the original Reg Rec just to keep the color in as I figured it out, you know, to original before I change anything. But this loom has been cut about so much. Um, it's a bit of a nest. We're gonna have to figure it out, but we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm just, I've also found this is gonna be nice, look. Nice little burn through there. And a couple of these other wires here. Oh, look. Nice. It's all going to be fun. So, yeah. We're gradually sorting things out. Still don't know where half of it actually goes. I've put that on there thinking it mounted up to them holes, but it doesn't actually fit. So that's probably the wrong place for that. But hey-ho. We will get there. Slow steps. It's time for you to leave home, little friend. Ooh. Whoop. Shit. Are you, are you there? You've got to leave. You've got to leave. Take all your friends. Well, it's been a couple of hours. As you can see. Still a big nest. But we've got some bits connected. We've got enough connected now that um I'm gonna I'm gonna put some power to it basically and see what we've got that should have some controls, should have some bits. It seems like a lot of the loose wires I've got are for like brake lights and headlights and stuff like that, although there are some bits of light connected. So we'll just see what happens. So all I'm going to do is I've got this old um, 12 volt charger thing, old as the hills, and I'm going to basically clip that to there because I haven't got a battery. So we're going to clip that to there. There was a ring here. Where is it? There was a ring. There was a ring at time. Where the fuck are you? Is. Right, and let's turn that on. And see if we've got anything. Turn the. It's a Keegan turn. Oh, what was that? Okay. We have a light. One single soldier like that. Oh no, we've got that light too. Oh, we've got an indicator flashing. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. We do have an indicator flashing anyway. Yes. flashing. wonder if the other one works. That one works. Um, we have a neutral light. Very vague, but we do have one. Um, so we've got a neutral light. Oh, here we go. That got brighter, didn't it? Oh, I see, because I've turned the light on, it's draining. So, the light's on. That one's on, thingy. Oh, indicator's flashing. The, the dash is on. Indicator flashing. What else we got? Oh, <laughs> why does 
it always entertain me when the horn works? There you go. So what have we got? We've got so that goes. So when the lights are on that one, everything goes really dull. When they're on S, everything's bright enough. Turn signals work. That would be high beam, wouldn't it? Has it got a high beam? It doesn't seem to have high beam. Oh well. Uh, I wonder what we're missing out on here. But that's something. And we've got all this here. Lovely, lovely mess. I bolted the reg wreck there. Everything else I've kind of made up places for. Just draped the loom over. I suppose if we got that, let's see if we got spark. Let's put you in a stand to see what we've got. Right. So I think I've got the camera set up. I've got the spark plug there. Everything is turned on. This engine is stiff. Oh shit, everything's falling apart. Anyway, this engine is as stiff as you like. I don't know what the oil situation's like, but let's see if we can. Fuck me. Let's see if we can get a spark. <sighs> don't know if this is going to work. Let's see if I can get a there. Oh, this bike's high. Oh, that was a spark. Please tell me you saw that. There was one. Yep, yeah. that's definitely a spark. Oh dear, why is that so stiff? I saw a couple of sparks there. I hope you did too. God almighty, that's stiff. Right, so after getting spark, I decided to uh, hook up the carb, hook up the exhaust, and we'll see if we can uh, pour some fuel down it and get it going. Throttle cable's too short, so I've just kind of hung it over there. But we know we've got power, we know we've got spark. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Let's give it a go. Right, I've put some fuel down the fuel line that's cable tied to the frame. Now I'm going to see if I can kick it over and it'll actually stay running. Let's try.
there we are so we've had it running I've got a few panels back on it I'm gradually getting it back together I just put the seat on so it looks like a bike got the front end on all the wiring's hidden in there indicators work lights work um, this is broken so I've got to get a new the glass and the brake levers broken so new set of levers pads and for the front and back um, set of levers pads yeah and that should pretty much get us running and rolling so I've got to order all them bits so join us for the next one when hopefully I'll have figured out more of the bird's nest and uh, we can take this thing up the road cool cheers bye bye